Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again back with some more music reactions. <laughs> Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And on this video, we're going to be checking out some more music from GG Vibes. Um, she's going to be taking on probably one of the more classic songs that you have ever heard in your life. Fly Me to the Moon. Now, this song uh, was originally made by Frank Sinatra, but it's been used in so many different things. Um, for my anime fans out there, you might be familiar from Neon Genesis Evangelion as the theme song to that, or the ending credit theme anyway. Um, of course, from countless movies, romantic comedies, so on and so forth. It's just being played around. Like, it's one of those kind of standard songs at this point in time where it's just been around so long, it's literally creeped into everything. <laughs> so I'm definitely one to... Um, see their take on it, Gigi and the band, and see what they do with it. Um, I'm also kind of interested to see how it got into the Squid Game um, soundtrack, because that's what this is saying. It's from the Squid Game um, OST, uh, which would be a li original soundtrack. So I'm kind of curious to see like what their take on it is like from Squid Game. So she's taking a take from their take in this rendition. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Okay, but before I hit start on this thing, of course, Got to get the business out of the way. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps my little channel grow over here on the way to 10,000 subscribers. You guys can help me with that. Definitely appreciate it. And then the second thing is I do like to pause my songs as I go through. Um, pausing does two things. One, gives me a minute to talk and process what I'm seeing. Two, helps me kind of maybe skirt around the little copyright system around here. And maybe helps the video stay up a little bit longer. Just saying. <laughs> so just the two things, uh, just for transparency and why I do what I do and how I do it. So at any rate, let me go ahead and start on this thing. Let's go. GG5. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the jazzed up version. You know what I'm saying? They took that joint, jazzed it up, up tempoed it. You know what I'm saying? The band is in there grooving. She in there with the stank face, like, hmm, ooh, you know. I like that. I wasn't ready for this. I was expecting the, the fly me to the moon, do 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 the lounge version. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. Let me wind this and back into it. Let's go. Let's get the funk back up in this joint. Let's go. <laughs> pause right here for a moment yo like her voice on here is so smooth i definitely definitely appreciate it she definitely has like that really nice like kind of lifted kind of voice you know what i'm saying where you know she's she, she just sounds great you know um she's projecting well like breath control is out of, out of control you could tell like she's got really good like um um 
what is that joint diaphragm support <laughs> so you know what i'm saying like she's got a lot of support down here and the way that the notes are coming out the way that she's singing it is very airy and like kind of light you know what i'm saying like i definitely like that kind of definitely kind of takes you back to that throwback era you know that kind of lounge type of type of vibe to it but at the same time kind of still keeping it up tempo and and moving along with the pacing of the song right now but i definitely like it also shout out to her for using that sure mic you know what I'm saying? We're mic cousins, it looks like. <laughs> We're actually using the same model of microphone. Definitely appreciate that. But, uh, yo, but the accompaniment, um, time, you know, everybody sounds great. The keyboard is there is, like, really kind of leaving it very light. He's not overcomplicating things on the keys. It's kind of allowing the band to kind of kind of do their thing. The pocket's really nice, you know what I'm saying, between the drummer and the, the bass player. They're really staying on time, you know, and, and everything just sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's, like, very, real groovy. So far, so good. So I'm going to rewind back a little bit. We'll jump back into it. But, yo, this one right here, shoot. We already know this one's going to be a banger. Let's go. A little solo, okay. Okay. Guitar solo, let's go, boy. the ad lib right there where she kind of put in you know a little emphasis emphasis on the guitar in the back really kind of cross dynamic right there definitely like that you know what i'm saying and my man back here is killing it on that solo right here just kind of adding that nice little cool little like rock rockish kind of vibe to it man come on man these guys are smart these guys are real smart love it let's go
Oh, pause. She about to hit us with some scat too. Oh, come on now. She's gonna take it all the way. She's gonna jazz this all the way out, huh? She's gonna jazz it all the way out. Love it. Oh my god. I like I like jazz music, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm hearing stuff like this, you know, here, here's my take on this song so far, and I'm gonna rewind it and we'll get back in, I promise. But I like the way, and I think I talked about this before with covers. I like taking a song, deconstructing it, reconstructing it, and and putting it back out there for the world to really explore for the first time. Because here's the cool thing with like songs like this that have been covered multiple times. You can definitely hear the, the original influence. You you get it. You know what I'm saying? You know this is a cover. It is what it is. But at the same time, though, it's their song. It's this group's song. The way that they hear it, the way that they broke it down, and the way they put it back together. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it a unique song. But the cool thing is, is like you can explore the variations of this song. So I'm hearing Gigi's version here, but I can go back and hear a different group version of it, a different artist here, you know, and you can kind of put the song side by side and appreciate every version of the song all the way back to the original. But it's one of those things where it's like you breathe new life into a song like this and you spot like the original artist for putting it together. And in the middle of that, you might find a new favorite version of that song. There's no right, no wrong. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But it's just really cool to hear different takes on standard songs like this. You know, especially the song that's been around, um, you know, for as long as this thing has. Because Frank Sinatra did this back in what? the Probably the 50s or 60s? Somewhere in that range? <laughs> you know? Uh, like, it's been around for a minute. So, anyway. Just got to put that out there. But keeping that in mind, I still like this version of the song i really appreciate it and the way that it's like doing it you know that that up tempo kind of jazzy feel to it with a little bit of funk touches here and there yeah definitely digging it all right let me move on i'm gonna let this thing just play out here let's go i'm gonna get this scat part here too Let it, let it hang. Mm. I like the finish on that too. Oh man, that finish. So good. So good. But yo, give it up. Please give it up to GG Vibes right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really did their thing on this song, really gave it justice and the proper respect that it was due, as well as bringing new life into it, bringing new energy into it. So, this is a cover from the Squid Games version. Now, I might have to go check out the Squid Games version and kind of see if that's how they did it or not. But at the same time, and I appreciate it. Like, it was a really cool jazz up version of that song, you know, and I appreciated it. Definitely appreciate, too, the the intimate feel of having a band right here. You really just by each other. You got your man's on percussions. You got lead guitar. You got bass guitar. You got keyboardist. And you got your singer. And when you do something like this, it's really cool to, like, really control dynamics. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to try to overplay the guy next to you. You're not going to try to overplay the guy on the other side of you. You're going to try to be in sync with them, you know, in terms of like timing and stuff like that. And I think honestly, it makes it easier for them to stay, 
you know, in that same groove, in that same pocket, because they literally can hear each other. They're right close to each other. So you're like hearing each other. Um, and the way that they're organized, you can tell, like, you know, they're used to playing in this formation where you have the two in the front, you know, two in the back and then her up front. So she's kind of back pushed up a little bit away from them, you know, probably not to overpower her ability to hear herself, but she's still close enough to be in a groove with them too. So I like, I like the kind of formation little, um, I didn't want to say a Pentagon shape they got going on here. <laughs> so, but really smart, man, from GG Vibes right here. And definitely appreciate uh, what they're able to do with this song. Always, of course, listening. You know, I also want to definitely check out some more of their music here in the future. So I've definitely got some more um, coming up from them at, at a later date. I'm not going to do another one right now. Just saying. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts. Definitely gonna check out some more GG Fives in the future. I always like with um, hearing her and the and the and the group right here and seeing what they do. So, until the next video, please take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And if you guys can do that, I will definitely catch you in the next video. All right, all right. <laughs> Peace.